So who is Max Joseph? It's beer o'clock and from Tiganzi Brow House in Bavaria, south of Munich, we have a bottle of their Max I Joseph export beer coming in at 5.2% ABV. Now, let's go into the history. This is the beer that celebrates the brewery founder, the Tigernsey brewery founder, Maximilian I. Joseph of Bavaria. Okay, 1806. Um, I've been looking forward to this, actually. I was reminded about this beer last night. And I, I got this bottle a few weeks ago, actually. And it's been sitting in my stash, like, you know. And uh, someone said, oh, you ever done the Max I Joseph last night on the live feed? Because um, I was drinking um, Augustina Brow Idle Stuff. So I said, yeah, I've got a bottle. I'll do it tomorrow. So there we go. We, as was asked for on the live stream last night, we are going to be reviewing this today you know my my subscribers ask and i like to please there we go um it's a great brewery they do some great beers you know you've seen me review the hells and uh, i think i've a dunkel and different ones that i've done on the on the channel and so they produce some good beers this to guernsey um brewery so without further ado look let's crack this open and let's get it in me um beer and oktoberfest museum glass and give it a try. I reckon this is going to be a winner winner chicken dinner. Look at that. Look at that. How's that for a pour? How's that for a a cracking looking beer and you gotta think this is a non-nucleated glass look at the look at the carbonation in that glass this is non-nucleated it's a lovely lovely clear it's a it's a yellowy it's a slight amber tinge to the yellowness of this beer um it's clear you can you can watch tv through this i tell you you can, you can stand there like that and you could watch your tv through it in in amber um that's how clear it is. It's got a beautiful, nearly three finger, tight, white, frothy foam head. And let's get the aromas. Oh, God, fresh hay. Lemon pepper. It's like running through a hay field. Grassy hay. That lemon pepper. So distinct that the aroma is just like, like a lot of the German beers. Oh, it does smell really, really nice. Without further ado, let's give it a try. Let's dive in. Cheers. Whoa! The first thing it actually hits is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a tinge of lemon. The first thing that hit me there was a tinge of lemon. That's unreal! Whoa! The lemon, the biscuity, bready malt. I'm going to have a sip because <laughs> I think I'm getting another flavour here. I've got to have another sip just to make sure that when I say this, say this flavour, that I'm not 
I'm not making it up in my mind. I've got the lemon, I've got the biscuity malts. I'm getting honey. I'm getting really sweet honey coming on the back end of them biscuity malts. So it's lemon, the biscuity malts come and it then becomes a sweet biscuity malt. It's like, I suppose like having a bit of malt bread with some butter and honey on it. Real. Yeah. Could this be better than Augustina Brow's Idlestoff export beer? Could this be better? I think. I'm going to have to put this, I'm going to have to get some more of this, and I'm going to have to put this up against the Augustina Brow. I think this is a future video coming, this against the Augustina Brow. Because I reckon this, this is going to give Augustina Brow a run for its money. It's unreal. It's so palatable. It's just so flavoursome. It's got a slightly dry finish to it as well that makes you want to take another sip. me away this is this is, this is this is really has blown me away this beer I wasn't I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to be as good as what it is this beer will definitely give Augustina Brow idle stuff a run for its money definitely um, I'm gonna have to get hold of another, another bottle of this I'm gonna have to get hold of another bottle of this and the glass and the glass, because I can't really do Augustina Brow idle stuff in the correct glass unless I've got the correct glass for this. So I'm gonna have to get hold of another bottle of this. I'm gonna have to get hold of the glass. And we're gonna have to have a battle of the beers. We are definitely gonna have to have a battle of the beers to find the, the best export beer. Because I had I had Augustina Brow idle stuff last night. I really, really do like that. I think that's the best lager in the world. But, <coughs> this is bloody good and all. I need to put these two side by side to find out the better one. And when I put them side by side, I will be able to find out the better one. I can't say this is better at the moment. But it's making a bloody good damn effort. A bloody good damn effort. It's just so clean, so crisp. I just love that, this, the honey, this sweet honey that comes through. You know, you got your grassiness of your lemon pepper, your biscuity malt, and it's honey turned a bit sweet on you. And you get this sort of honey, and this honey lasts until you get this lovely dry finish. What a beer! What a beer! Look! We're in a shitty year. It's 2021. The year started off shit, right? If there's a beer to put on your shopping list this year, a beer to try before you die, it's a bottle of this. If you've not had this beer, jump 
through flaming hoops to get a bottle. Jump through flaming hoops to get a bottle. I'm gonna tell you that now. You will not be disappointed. You lager drinkers out there, you Pilsner drinkers, you know, who like my, my reviews when I do a lager and a Pilsner. Honest to God, you're gonna love this, right? Even, even my, my, my Belgian beer um, enthusiast, Brian, people like that. Brian, get hold of a bottle of this, right? And I'm gonna tell you where you can get a bottle from. But leave me one, please, leave me one, right? The House of Trembling Madness has these in stock, right? The House of Trembling Madness in, in, in York has these in stock. So look, get yourself a bottle of this. I think it's about three quid, three quid for the bottle, right? Well, hey, it's a bargain. When you think we've got no pubs, pubs ain't open. No, one bo no one's paying three quid for a decent pint in a pub, are we? You know, they're all fives and six quids nowadays, a decent pint in a pub. Three quid, three quid, it's a fucking bargain. It's a bargain. Go and get yourself a bottle. You won't be disappointed. This is a beer to try before you die. So look, get hold of a bottle, try it, see what you think. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of this review, right? Give me a big thumbs up if you like it. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.